now we have a moment when the presidents in both Havana and in Washington have said that they think the current policy is wrong and not in the national interest of either country. And so I think there is an opportunity now for, for us to be able to move forward. Our relations are like a bridge in wartime. I'm not going to talk about who blew up. And I believe that uh, eventually uh, the White House will decide that relations with the whole hemisphere are too important uh, for the United States to boycott the summit, even if, if President Castro attends. So I expect that in April in Panama, Raul Castro and Barack Obama will sit down at the diplomatic table together the first time since 1959 that a U.S. president and a Cuban president have sat across the diplomatic table from one another. Those lessons would be immediately relevant to Barack Obama as he considers the option of sitting down with Raul Castro in Panama, sharing a cigar, smoking a, a Cohiba Lancero, uh, for example, and discussing uh, what Barack Obama himself has said should be a better day and a new chapter in U.S.-Cuban relations.